Hi everyone, welcome to our second uh, ISB webinar. Today we have a uh, constructor, uh, constructor with us uh, to, to see with you and to help you going from infrastructure as a service to research as a service, or giving you a solution that is uh, for researchers. Alex, can you go to the next slide? Sure. Uh, with me today, we have Alex Anikin. Alex Anikin is a sales director for Constructor. Daria Kublikova, senior product manager at Constructor, and myself uh, managing all the ISV team. Uh, what we will be doing in this webinar is, as we saw last time in the first webinar, if you joined us, so there will be the welcoming introduction. We are doing it now, and we will see uh, the opportunities in the research market for the compute part, how we leverage M uh, MI, mach uh, machine intelligence data processing for revenue growth, uh, a demo of the cost constructed research platform, and then we see how to sell a research platform uh, within your clouds. And at the end, we will end the session with the Q&A to answer all your questions if you might have some. Can you go to the next one? Sure. So as, as we've seen before, and for the people who are joining us in this ISV webinars uh, for the first time, we, are, we decided this year to not do webinars only about our solutions. We need to give our uh, community and ecosystem the possibility to see how they can leverage their clouds and sell solutions as a service. So last one uh, was about blockchain uh, and I encourage you to go to our website to see the, the, um, uh, uh, the recording of it which is available there and we are now taking you to the second, uh, to, to the second one with uh, a platform that will help you offering research as a service to any company who is doing research and development. And from here, I'm taking and giving the lead and the stage to Alex, who will be taking us into a constructor and constructor platform and see how you can turn your infrastructure service to a research platform for the end users to use it and uh, start consuming your clouds. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Ahmed, for your kind introduction. Uh, yeah, today we will talk about research platform and uh, it was a service and how we can um, how we can offer uh, valuable something valuable to our customers together. And uh, as mentioned, uh, we we we've go through uh, some market overview uh, opportunities we have on the market and how we can uh, explore them uh, them together. Then we'll go through the demo, and uh, then uh, then again, just to, we'll have a closer look to uh, how we uh, position the platform and uh, what exactly we can offer to uh, users and customers. And then we'll have a Q and A session. And uh, except to myself and uh, Daria on this call, we have also on the background our technical team from uh, Constructor Technology who will be helping us. Uh, uh, answering uh, uh, your uh, questions, uh, questions for, from people who attend uh, this event. So again, thank you very much for joining. Uh, and let's start. Uh, <clears throat> first, a couple of words about research platform. Uh, our goal is uh, to help scientists be more productive and get experiment results easier and faster. And um, to, to achieve this goal, we are building an intelligent uh, platform that allows to use artificial intelligence, uh, intelligent-based computational modeling uh, to address the most common uh, pain points of researchers, like hardware and data management, ability to build environments of any complexity, get reproducibility and high quality results faster and with less efforts, uh, ability to collaborate and exchange information within uh, like uh, you know, common intuitively understandable and easy to easy to manage environment. Uh, but again, today we'll discuss how we can leverage from combination of research platform technology and virtual service uh, providers uh, like cloud hosting expertise. And let's look at the uh, compute uh, research uh, market. Uh, um, first of all, machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies are highly demanded 
in um, uh, almost all industries today, right? It's the food industry, uh, pharmacy, education, healthcare, finance, automotive industry. Uh, so in all these those verticals, education, of course, and academia, uh, whenever f f businesses need to deal with big data and whenever they want to analyze uh, the big data and derive some useful uh, insights some useful information out of it, they, uh, today they use machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, uh, technologies. Uh, so these technologies help to improve uh, to improve quality of products and services, logistics, uh, professional performance, create new uh, devices, drugs, uh, content, even even increase efficiency of, of marketing and sales. And uh, due to research platform uh, technology, uh, we help businesses to improve data. Uh, processing on all levels of uh, computational research life cycle and bring researchers uh, user experience to the next level. So we help to move from from the zoo of inefficient and in, in, inconsistent and uh, in many cases incompatible tools to uh, comprehensive end-to-end -end solution with uh, unlimited collaboration capabilities. We uh, replace massive manual efforts uh, with highly automated processes and uh, uh, reusable artifacts. We uh, help to switch from manual, manually crafted poor code uh, again artifacts to well-structured collaborative de uh, development and uh, pre-deployed uh, automated environments. Uh, we also eliminate the probability of errors providing much better control versioning and transparency and uh, we, of course, improve uh, scale, uh, stability of uh, solutions with uh, uh, improved system monitoring and, and uh, errors detection. Uh, then let's have a, little, a look at, uh, uh, at the market itself uh, and uh, where is money actually. So, right. Uh, all computational research is being done using uh, high performance computing or HPC. So let's take a, a closer look to this market and we can split it into two major how to say, sectors, right? First is cloud computing and on-premise HPC. And uh, uh, if we uh, take, if we take on-premise server uh, power, we can see that uh, there are big uh, players, international uh, uh, or uh, national uh, supercomputers uh, regional hubs, and also there are local infrastructure units uh, that uh, are used by small and medium research groups or businesses or kind of research departments. And these guys usually buy compute infrastructure to implement specific projects funded, for example, by industry or by academia, by grant money, and then uh, have to provide maintenance, hire admins, deliver upgrades of that hardware, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And here we see opportunity, and this uh, uh, we can, uh, and, and, and here we can offer good uh, cloud or hybrid solution and remove unnecessary headache uh, of uh, our potential customers. And if we look at the market trend, we'll see that HPC cloud computing share is expected to be growing much faster than on-premise facilities and it's also a uh, very promising and good sign for uh, for us and for our bundle to joint solution uh, until now to be honest constructor research uh, has been targeting education and academia sector uh, you see it's highlighted here with the uh, well, only about 20 percent of, 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 of total share of the market However, most of the compute, uh, computation uh, uh, and, and, and research is being done uh, by businesses and uh, over 60%. Uh, and uh, this uh, like uh, oil and gas industry, uh, geoscience, defense, life science, uh, uh, pharmaceutical, again, uh, finance, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, we'll be, uh, we'll be still targeting university and academia, but uh, 
with the help of uh, service providers or together with virtual service providers, we also hope uh, to cover a uh, uh, business uh, site and, and, and that, that uh, business, uh, let's say, research uh, segment uh, that uh, is we are not uh, reaching now. Uh, however, we are also talking to businesses and have some uh, projects uh, in, in business and with uh, enterprise clients. Right, so if we look at uh, revenue streams related to HPC market, uh, uh, we can notice that uh, most profits are coming from uh, resource consum consumption, uh, compute and storage. Uh, and and uh, it's 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 something where we definitely have a huge uh, expertise, and we can leverage uh, from it and open up new revenue streams. Because virtual service providers and service providers, they actually uh, sell uh, resources. They know how to do that, and uh, that's why uh, we do not expect a huge change in business approaches that are now. Yeah, and that, that are now being practiced by uh, service providers. All right. Let's say, okay, so we, we've done with the first part. We'll overview, market overview. Uh, then we are going to switch to demo of the platform. And I'm passing the floor to Daria, who is going to show uh, a research platform functionality. And uh, then we'll get back to our discussion related to business. Daria, please. Thank you, Alex. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Daria. I work as senior product manager for research platform team. Um, and today I'm going to show you a quick demo of the platform that we built, uh, a quick recap of what a uh, research platform is. Research platform helps to accelerate research process, ensure reproducibility of results, and simplify overall the life of scientists. Um, it's a collaborative platform uh, which provides ecosystem covering most of research activities, uh, starting from infrastructure and ending up with automation tools and collaboration. So we designed the platform for needs of scientists and researchers on different stages of their career, uh, starting from students up to professors and managers. So let's jump directly to one of projects on Rolos to see how researchers can work with it. Uh, the first stage of the project, um, of any research project, is basically a planning stage, which includes collaboration tools, setup, data preparation, and experiments, de experiments design. On this stage, I will need um, the desk. Desk is my personal space on the platform. Uh, Desk is launched in one of uh, pre-built and customizable environments. Mm, yes, it's pre-built in one of customizable environments on roles on, on research platform. Uh, so, uh, research platform provides with uh, some basic options, for example, Python environment or R environment, also machine learning environments and domain-specific ones, for example. Um, atomic materials modeling, which is uh, used by researchers in area of uh, material science, uh, molecular dynamics for uh, researchers in life science. And as soon as a new team joining the platform, then they can request a template uh, and it will be ready like really uh, re relatively shortly. Uh, and they can start using the platform, having their own cust customized environments. Uh, for each environment, it's possible to specify amount of resources uh, researcher is getting with this environment. Um, I can choose amount of storage, memory, and also like CPU. I can also request GPUs if I need. Uh, for example, mach machine learning environments go with uh, GPU resources. And I can change, I can increase or decrease amount of resources at any time of the project. So it's really flexible. Um, uh, desk is my personal space and also every teammate of uh, this project uh, has its own desk. I can also go to their desks to help them with some experiments or um, you know, check if everything is going well on their side. But mainly, I would work with my desk. Uh, it 
allows interactive mode of work with code and data. So basically I can bring here like files from my computer or I can create them on the platform. Uh, these can be like Python files or any other types of data files. Um, Desk integrates VS Code, uh, which is uh, which is Vault uh, commonly used uh, ID uh, development environment. Uh, it's fully functional, so I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. Um, and I will not stop a lot on the functionality of uh, development environment by itself, but I will explain like how is it different from uh, other. Uh, I mean from uh, from uh, in, uh, from ID in general. So basically, uh, we want researchers to adapt best practices from the world of software engineering um, to improve re reproducibility of research results. Uh, so we added versioning functionality uh, using Git. Um, and we have a few different options to interact with this version and functionality, depending on, you know, computer um, knowledge of uh, researchers and their familiarity with the uh, uh, programming methods. So basically there is uh, this source control interface where I can see changed files and choose which of them I want to be version. Or I can go to terminal and use command line interface to interact with Git and version my files. Or if I'm not familiar with Git at all, then I can use snapshot functionalities and I can, you know, at any time of the project, I can create a snapshot. Uh, which will save the current state of my project and later on I can return back to the state uh, and recover files if I broke something or uh, if my teammates uh, did something wrong. So basically it allows me to interact with version and functionality and ensure reproducibility of my results even though I'm not that familiar with the Git, uh, Git, versioning, uh, Git versioning system. Um, so for the next stage of my research project, when I'm done with uh, my planning stage, when I'm done with experiments design, I will go to workflow manager uh, where I can build reproducible and automated um, experiments um, and run them multiple times to get uh, same results or get different results if I change you know, initial conditions. So workflow consists of set of nodes each node includes executable file. In this case, in, in this case, it's like .py file. Also, each node has um, environment settings, so I can choose concrete compute environment and also amount of resources uh, this uh, node will use. It's also it, it's pretty convenient for me, you know, to distribute resources wisely through the nodes because some nodes require GPU resources, some of them just require very few CPU resources, so I can really wisely distribute uh, compute resources I'm using. Um, another cool thing about uh, workflow that it allows to create different kinds of nodes. These common nodes, they will be sent to uh, our cloud and will be computed there, but uh, research can also create remote compute nodes um, which will be executed on external resource. So right from here, I can go and manage shared resources in this project. Uh, the platform itself is multi-cloud by design, meaning that different kinds of resources, compute resources can be attached to the platform and then used within the scope of this project. So basically I can either choose from the list of resources that I have or create new resource add in all information about this resource or all credentials and etc. And then I can integrate this node. For example, this one will be computed on some HPC, university HPC cluster. And then different nodes, you see that uh, part of this workflow will be run in cloud, part of the workflow will be sent to HPC. And in the end, all the data will be gathered here on the platform. So researchers do not spend any time on extra moving data from one place to another because platform aggregates it uh, by by default. So as soon as I'm done with my experiments and I received some results and I'm ready to analyze them, um, I will send them to data catalog, uh, data catalog component of Rollers platform. Um, and here I can see the data structured as a table. Uh, each row represents here a protein uh, because like this use case is from um, life science domain, but basically it can be any 
other type of data. Uh, for each protein, I can see some properties of this protein. So here I can see pH and also 3D structure of each protein. Of course, I can look at this file like uh, as text file, but it does not provide me with a lot of information. So I prefer to look at it at as a 3D structure, it provides me with more information. So, and other types of data can be also previewed here um, for convenience. Um, data catalog, which allows me, um, data catalog allows me to uh, understand data and play with it. For example, I can filter um, at some filters. For example, I want um, pH uh, to be more than four. Um, I can also like sort this data and then I can add some charts to understand this data better. For example, I want to see the distribution, so I can build this chart, I can create it, edit here. Yeah, I, okay, uh, I, I think I've created one before. Uh, same one. So, um, and also it allows me, uh, allows me not to be the only interface between data that I received uh, and my team because usually team is coming to me personally and asking, can you please build these charts, these charts, or send this table? Uh, but using the platform, since all of participants are here and all of them have the same way of interacting with um, code data, and depending on, on their skills, they can um, either work with uh, code directly, but if they're not that computer savvy, I know managers or professors, they can come directly to data catalog and uh, build some high level analytics and understand what's happening in the project. Um, so again, I'm not the only interface between data I received and the um, and my team. Right? So when I finish data analysis part, I can switch to preparing publication or some report based on results I received on previous stages like starting from uh, planning to an analysis and for this i will need publication functionality uh, it allows instantly create the publication with data code and some images or charts uh, like different kinds of content can be included also i can attach uh, like multiple files which i want to share with the people who will be reading this paper it can be initial data set or the model which I got or like you know the whole archive of files um, that I want to share then I can say if I want it to be public or private so private me means that only uh, collaborators of this project will see this uh, paper otherwise I can make it public and then like share this link with um, like with all of uh, people I want to share it with for example, it can be attached to the main paper, which is published in Nature, and be good supplementary material, which provides readers with a better understanding of what's happening within the data. So pretty cool interactive charts can be added here because they provide with a better understanding of the distribution of data and opportunity to interact with these charts, because usually in publications and in reports and presentations data is really static but here you can uh, one can interact with this so um, yeah and I actually like this chart even, even more because it provides more information about each dot on this chart um, and as I explained some attachments can be also here so I can download them right away um, and um, and and play with them but moreover, what we are working on right now, and which is already available for our for our users, is the ability to share the whole project, so others can try to play with it independently and reuse some of the results um, and play with them. I know uh, either try to uh, try to uh, try to get the same results or apply. Uh, methods that my team developed or once team developed to their data um, and see how it works. So basically uh, there is some landing page for the project which has short uh, description of this project and then when I click open and research platform it will create a duplicate project so uh, readers will not ruin the initial project but they will have the same project with same data um, and it provides them with really 
interactive way to explore other results. And with it, I would like to pass the floor back to Alex. And thank you for uh, watching the demo. Okay, thank you, Daria. Thank you very much for your demo. And we'll continue our uh, meeting. And now we'll talk about uh, how how we actually sell uh, um, uh, with your platform and how we can uh, uh, collaborate and uh, deliver uh, um, a kind of joint or bundle solution to uh, to, uh, to customers. All right, so first of all, why do we think that research platform and uh, virtuoso technology uh, can bring value to our customers? Because uh, the platform is designed specifically for researchers to uh, cover uh, all their like uh, uh, needs. As you saw from a demonstration of Daria, <clears throat> it's end-to-end -end solution that covers the whole research life cycle, starting from uh, allocating and connecting necessary compute resources, then uh, easy way uh, of uh, dealing with the uh, data sets, uh, building models, then uh, creating workflows of any complexity, visual, visualizing results, uh, in, in also in very easy uh, and automated way uh, with the ability to work with the uh, received uh, data and received results easily due to data catalog uh, that we implemented. And then uh, interactive publications uh, makes actually uh, generating uh, results, articles, uh, and reports uh, for quite easy thing. So we um, increase uh, productivity of research teams and individual scientists uh, we reduce the journey from research stage to prototype and from prototype to uh, final product if we are talking about industry, if we are talking about academia and university uh, to uh, like patent or, or, or article or some kind of rep um, report. Uh, <clears throat> high level of automation and intuitive user interface make life research much, much easier and allows our scientists to focus on experiments rather than uh, coding scripts uh, and uh, also uh, extensive collaboration environment offers possibility to share data algorithms and publications easily. On the other hand, uh, the powerful virtualization layer uh, provided by Virtuoso allows automatically scale applications and easy managed infrastructure and of course has benefits like centralized uh, backup solution, flexible virtual, virtual environments configuration, uh, provisioning of uh, nodes and virtual machines uh, for to to, to individual uh, researchers, uh, easy uh, hardware upgrades without downtime, and etc. etc. Et et uh, let's talk about ways how we integrate and uh, implement actually solution. We have two scenarios for the implementation or integration. First scenario. Uh, allows us to connect uh, uh, service provider uh, infrastructure directly to our cloud and then uh, end users uh, can use can continue using our uh, uh, research uh, uh, platform cloud and uh, have access to a service provider data center for further uh, computation so some staff routine staff might be done using uh, research platform cloud or research platform resources, but a really heavy computation uh, will then be done uh, with the uh, integrated uh, um, data center of service provider. Another option is actually similar with the difference that everything is then installed and deployed on, on top of uh, uh, service provider uh, data center. So it would it would require allocation of some uh, extra maybe one or i don't know two servers for a research platform itself and then we uh, provide uh, uh, integration and uh, in the same way and deployment 
uh, will be done uh, like then in similar uh, uh, manner. Uh, but uh, with the difference that all computation and all routine tasks, everything will be uh, will be implemented by users using uh, service provider data center. Uh, and of course, uh, and of course, uh, service provider will uh, will be having its own uh, like uh, landing page or or website where uh, the services research platform services will be uh, offered. Uh, if we talk about business model and business approach, we offer a platform fee, which is uh, as, as in, in a standard offering 2,500 uh, USD per month, and it covers a lot of services that goes on top. So, of course, unlimited number of resources, of course, technical support, uh, integration uh, is included. Uh, then. Uh, uh, we provide also consultancy service to our users, also included in the in the package. Sorry. Uh, then uh, we uh, it covers uh, some uh, a number of resources that uh, can be consumed um, uh, with the help of uh, platform uh, uh, and many many other things. Again, included in in, in this uh, in this uh, platform fee. I would just, uh, as an example, uh, 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 scenarios for for different like types of sizes of projects that uh, that uh, uh, can be, for example, deployed and provisioned or using AWS infrastructure. It's just, of course, an example because it's different. It's it's not easy to differentiate small, medium, and large projects. Uh, but uh, we can just simulate. We can, uh, according to our experience, uh, assess uh, the resources needed for like for for uh, some of those projects, and we can see how much they cost and how much users pay for them uh, using, for example, AWS infrastructure. Uh, right, and as for implementation, it will not take a long time, so we can be really quick. So we uh, uh, deliver the service within four weeks. Uh, one week uh, is just to understand how we integrate, uh, allocate necessary resources on a service provider side. And uh, yeah, and and decide about the, the way we 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 provide uh, uh, integration. Then uh, we sign uh, an agreement, uh, <clears throat> one week for legal stuff, and uh, uh, then we deploy uh, uh, the platform, provide integration, and uh, one one more week. And then fourth week is to just make all necessary test uh, testings, and open the service for uh, for end users and start it actually All right so this is a general overview of what we what we can offer what what we can deliver and and and, and how we can actually collaborate in short so now we have, will be happy to answer your questions please we open q a session now thank you yeah, and I and I have some questions here, Ali. Uh, so the first question that I have, if a customer needs some specific tools to implement the project, may it be possible to integrate them? Does the platform have any APIs? Can you provide examples on research projects implemented with the help of the platform? Yeah, uh, these are good points. Uh, I would separate them into two questions. First, uh, uh, research platform is a platform solution, which means it's it's quite flexible. Of course, we do not have uh, everything that might be needed by any researchers uh, or a researcher uh, like right now or at, at, at any moment. And uh, and uh, uh, we uh, provide necessary customization when it's when it's needed. We, as uh, Daria was showing you uh, the uh, interface where we provide, for example, custom environments for different projects like Romax, like Vasp, et cetera, et cetera. 
uh, all different uh, elements and software tools. And uh, same we can do for like on, on demand uh, upon, and upon request uh, for specific projects. Uh, and uh, that's what's uh, that's that's why uh, the platform is, is flexible and extendable in terms of different tools integrated into 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 it. Uh, as for examples, probably uh, one of the uh, most uh, let's say important and well known example is. Uh, 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 Constantino Vasolo project, uh, where uh, which is actually uh, uh, implemented using a, a research platform uh, functionality, and we oh, it's already been published in Nature, and uh, soon we also expect new publication related on, on that project. Constantino Vasolo is a scientist who invented is U from UK, uh, 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 and who invented actually graphene. It's one of and, and that that's, and, and became a, a Nobel Prize uh, winner. Uh, if you, Daddy, if you can add something on that, so please feel free to to provide more details if you wish. I think you provided quite good overview. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a second question here, Alex. Uh, is it possible for users to bring their own data sets for computation? What types of data are supported and what are the limitations? Uh, I would propose one of our technical uh, engineers to join here. Uh, Questa, are you with us? Uh, yes, I can help with that. Great. Perfect. Okay, thanks for the question, by the way. Uh, currently, we are not limited. Yes, of course, it is uh, possible to bring your own data into the platform and work with it. Uh, for now, it's, we provide uh, uh, UI tools to upload your data for simpler structured data like CSVs and the textual data. But uh, if you have some more complex models for your data, you we provide a custom uh, uh, SDK, Python SDK, to work with this data from your desk, from your workflows all, all over the platform. And we are, you are not limited here in any way. You can use uh, whichever data you want uh, and uh, work with it with this API. Oh. Thank you, Costa. Uh, a third question that I have. Uh, are, uh, are GPU resources mandatory to start hosting research projects in our infrastructure? We know that it's well known that uh, actually uh, many uh, researchers and many research projects require uh, GPU um, uh, resources for computation. Not all of them, definitely. Uh, probably, I don't know what's the ratio, but it may be 50-50. Uh, so for some projects, uh, GPU resources would be required. For some, CPU uh, might be uh, sufficient uh, to, uh, to, to run computation. But of course, it's better to have both options for researchers to, to offer them uh, appropriate uh, infrastructure for computation. I would like to add here, uh, like if we answer the question directly, that would be, uh, it's not necessary to have GPO resources to start using the platform on your own infrastructure. So basically, even if you have CPU cluster with CPU resources, it will be fine. Um, and like you can use CPU, your own CPU resources, but also some GPU resources provided by Rolos. That would be a good uh, combination. But yeah, in case if you have, that's even better. <laughs> so you can use both from Rolos. Yeah, exactly. It's not mandatory to, to, to have GPU, uh, especially if you just need to try um, a research platform. Yeah, so no, 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 it's not a blocker. 
but again, so it's some at some cases it, it's it, it's required. And uh, and the last uh, last question that I have: there are plenty of cloud solutions for hosting research. Why should customer consider the combination virtuoso and uh, uh, construct? Well, it's, uh, I tried to answer with one of my slides there, so because actually it's a beautiful combination of experience of uh, Virtuoso as, uh, as, uh, as virtualization, uh, as a platform uh, uh, for virtualization and, uh, uh, and our expertise in ML and artificial intelligence. In fact, uh, of course, there are like big guys uh, like AWS, Azure, um, or Google who are offering uh, services and uh, many researchers are using those um, those um, how to say uh, services, but uh, uh, in many cases uh, researchers really need to 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 keep their data on premise, for example, and 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 and, and, and take care about uh, uh, the transparency, take care about uh, security of the data especially when they deal with the, like some uh, personal data in uh, in pharma industry not in pharma but in healthcare etc cetera, etc cetera. so or in many research projects again there are some strict uh, uh, requirements uh, coming from for example industry if industry uh, do that so the, in that case aws azure or etc uh, are not appropriate solutions so for on premise we can bring uh, uh, a secure cloud. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, build a dedicated uh, uh, dedicated uh, let's say <clears throat> uh, regions as we call them right in uh, uh, Virtuoso, uh, and we can build hybrid solutions to just to to mitigate those risks with data <clears throat> where uh, part of uh, workloads uh, can be can be uh run and uh, executed on, in cloud uh but uh, on premise so we 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 are quite flexible we have a good experience uh, and a good expertise and uh, yeah and, and i think it's our like strong point yeah and, and from our side the flexibility of the infrastructure having uh, everything in one platform meaning compute and storage and offering everything to that partners as a package solution uh would be would be the best it's like bringing an experience from a hyperscaler like what you said asia or aws or google to their end users or to the researchers out there in the enterprise play uh to use our our combined solution exactly uh, no more questions um so we will be closing this webinar uh we are looking uh, forward the third one that we will be announcing soon uh thanks alex thanks daria for your uh, for your presentation and your time thanks everyone for coming and attending our webinar a recording will be sent of course to uh, uh everyone in case of or if you want to uh, remember something that is in the in the in the presentation don't hesitate to go to your virtuoso account manager or to daria or to alex if you have any more questions or if you want to start playing with the solution uh, and uh, we see you soon uh, we see you soon thank you thanks everyone thank Bye. you very much Bye.